Yo, what is going on YouTube? It is OG and today we're going to be doing a fire interview for you guys. So we got the young god Patchy Pirate on the channel. Recently he did manage to push his M's all the way to rank 35 um and you know ems she is a really strong brawler don't get me wrong but she's also one of those brawlers that get like countered really easily obviously if you get up in her face it's kind of gg she's kind of useless and she, she has that slow reload speed um so it definitely can um i'd imagine it would be a trying push for the young guy but he did manage to do it and you know super impressive patchy is also going for a few other rank 35s now too so if you guys do like the interview let me know and i'll try to get him back on unfortunately he wouldn't come in vc but he did answer some really good questions for me so i'm excited to share it with you guys and the first part it's gonna be all serious and then the end questions they're gonna be like a little meme just to end the interview on a positive note but before we get into that, I have a few words that I'd like to share from today's sponsors, Raid Shadow Legends. Introducing Raid Shadow Legends. Raid is a turn-based RPG done right. I know you've already heard about Raid everywhere, but there's a great reason for it. Raid is one of the top three ranked RPGs on the Google Play Store, and it's just been nominated as a finalist for Google Play's Best of 2019 User's Choice Awards. The game is crazy popular, almost 15 million downloads in the last six months. So what is Raid? Raid is an epic dark fantasy done right. Hero collection turn-based game with over 400 champions for you to collect and personally customize. You can gather orcs, undead knights, elves, and more, explore 1 million plus champion builds, enjoy a fully voiced story campaign, raid with friends in a clan, and there are a lot of extra cool in-game features like new champions every month and progressive rewards. I also want all of you to go check out the sweet new High Elves champion they just released called the Arbiter. I can't wait to unlock her, she looks so OP. And the best part is, Raid is free to play. So my favorite part of the game is all the characters and all their designs, there are just so many to choose from and they all look so good, they're so well made. Um, my personal favorite is the Lizard Men, so it would have to be this guy right down here, the Saurus level 60, he just looks so sweet, I can't wait to unlock him. So what are you waiting for? Go to the video description, click on special links, and you'll get 50,000 silver and a free epic champion as part of the new player program to start your journey. Good luck, and I'll see you there. Alright guys, so hopefully you enjoyed the ad. I just want to give a huge shout out to Raid Shadow Legends. Um, thank you so much for sponsoring this video. It really goes a long way. I 100% recommend to check out the game. Um, like I said, use my download link. It'll be in the description below. I'll also pin it in the messages. But um, yeah, really solid game. I really do thoroughly enjoy it. So without any further ado, let's get into the questions. Question number one. Why did you decide to push M's? So, Patchy replied with, I decided to push her because I'm going for all rank 35s and randomly picked her as a brawler I wanted to push. Um, so like I said, she is pretty strong. She does get countered, but if you're going for all rank 35s, you gotta do it at some point. So I think you did pick a pretty good time to do it, besides all the Daryls. <laughs> Question number two, what brawlers gave you the most difficulties? So, like I just said, number one for Patchy would be... Daryl, number two, Spike, number three, Crow. Oh, this is a long list. I'll start, stop numbering them. Crow, Mortis, Carl, Gene, Piper, Colt, Brock, 8-Bit. Mostly all the range brawlers and brawlers that can easily rush up the Amzer Sniper from a distance. So pretty much half the brawlers in the game counter her, which, you know, I do agree on. She is really strong in certain matchups and then really weak in certain matchups. So it's all about positioning with her and just finding the right time to get that burst damage out. Um, and it can be really difficult if you're just getting poked down or they're just jumping on you, like rushing into you. Um, so definitely you want to play to your matchups with M's. Question number three, what brawlers did you find the easiest? So the easiest brawlers for Patchy were Shelly, Rosa, BB, Frank, Bull, Poco. Um, it's just super easy for M's to deal insane damage to brawlers that have short ranges or do low damage at a distance. Um, and yeah, just... Any brawler that M's can kind of poke reasonably with, as long as they have like the same distance, um, I think she almost always wins those trades. So she's definitely really strong against those matchups. Question number four, what are her best modes? 
So, Patchy thinks that Brawl Ball is the best mode for her. She can hold the lane pretty well against Brawlers, and she has very good defensive capabilities with her super and insane damage to quickly stop people from scoring. Um, yeah, I think one thing that people overlook with Ems is she's really map dependent as well. So you want something that has like a decent lane for her. It can't be wide open, but it also can't be full of walls because it'll block her shots. And a lot of the Brawl Ball maps, they do have the best maps for Ems. Um, and I think she is really strong in Brawl Ball right now. Question number five. What do you like and dislike about her? Patchy says that I love how much damage she can do if she catches someone in her super. I don't like how little damage she does at a little range, which makes her so weak to so many brawlers. Um, yeah, I mean, that's kind of the brawler's design, Patchy. <laughs> but um, she definitely is super fun when you just burst people down and they just literally get melted. Question number six, what star power do you use? So, Patchy used Bad Karma, it offers so much extra damage and Hype doesn't heal very much and is one of the worst star powers in the game. So recently they did buff Hype, um, but it's still not very good. I tend to stay away from it um, and apparently Patchy does too. So always try to use Bad Karma, it just pairs really well with her and you can just catch people and just do so much damage and that's the point of M's, right? It's not just poking, you want to burst them down if you can. Um, so Bad Karma just really pairs well with her. Question number seven. How long did it take you to get rank 35? So it took me a very short time to get to 1200 trophies and it took me a couple days of tilting to finally get 1250. Um, so once you hit that 1200 mark in North America at least, you're a very popular player and everyone does want to play against you. <laughs> so um, I think I might have played against them once too. Not intentionally, Patchy. Not intentionally, okay? Um, and you know, there are those people that will try to play against you intentionally though. Not me, not me. Um, so I can see how the last 50 trophies can be really tilting for him. Question number eight, was it harder compared to your other rank 35s? Um, and Patchy replied with, it was the hardest brawler for me to rank 35. Daryl's being everywhere made it impossible to win lanes and super hard to win consistently. Yeah, it's, although she is really strong, the Daryl, you gotta, work on your matchups so if they do have a Daryl you do want to stay off it especially when it gets it's super before you can deal with it don't get me wrong when Daryl gets a super it is just really tough you got to use walls if you're going to survive and a lot of situations you literally can't do anything um so you can definitely <laughs> imagine how frustrating getting M's to rank 35 is I've been doing Frank and it is <sighs> you know it has its moments where it can be a little interesting to say the least but um you know, congrats to Patchy for getting ranked 35 M's. And let's get into the meme questions. So question number one, do you still like mint flowers? Um, for those of you who don't know, he did a voice interview and Ark asked him what his favorite smell was and he said mint flowers. <laughs> Patchy replied with, okay, boomer. I'm assuming that's still yes. How could you not like mint flowers, Patchy? Okay. Uh, question number two, do you flex that you're a Brawl Stars pro to your other 13 year old friends? He replied with no. I'm not 100% convinced. I, I I feel like he's always playing Brawl Stars at school and someone has to like walk up to him and be like, yeah, what are you playing? And he's just like, I'm the best in the game. Um, so he says no, but we're going to go with a maybe on that one. <laughs> Question number three. Did you have to stay up past your bedtime to hang, hit rank 35? I don't have a bedtime, but I did grind until 4 a.m. a couple of nights. So... I do remember Patchy having a bedtime at one point when I used to play with him. Um, maybe, who knows, he's, he's a big boy now, he's 13. Maybe it got cancelled. Um, but 4 a.m., you can imagine the little guy would get a little grumpy at that point, which leads to our next question. Did you push, uh, did pushing rank 35 M's make you cranky? <laughs> Getting counter sniped made. <laughs> Okay, I can't. Uh, getting counter snipe did get me quite ticked off many times. Um, so yeah, Patchy. <laughs> well, I think not just Patchy. Anyone who's done a big push, they can get cranky, myself included. Um, and it does get really frustrating at a certain point. So, you know, I can imagine he did get a little aggravated. Question number five, the final question for this amazing interview. Will you ever bless YouTube with another voice interview? The question everyone wants to know. Maybe on my YouTube in a few months. So guys, 
you you hear that right everyone needs to go sub to patchy right now potential voice re-reveal it's been a year like your voice changes a lot at that age so i'm ecstatic i can't wait to hear his voice on his youtube hopefully in the near future um so definitely <laughs> go check out patchy's content he has some insane mortis gameplay along with a lot of other good stuff so definitely go drop the young god sub tell him that i sent you and you know just stay tuned the interview is done but we're gonna keep the content rolling a little bit um and yeah guys enjoy the gameplay